So today I want to show you Sifter from Path Set, which is a granular mixer with lots of interesting functions. If you are into granular synthesis, Sifter and other modules are a part of the commercial collection, the Grains commercial collection from Path Set. Again, if you are into granular synthesis, I definitely recommend checking this collection out. Let's start. Okay, so I want to start with some of the basic functions. Here I have a simple voice, just a sign VCO from Surge going through the envelope generator VCA from Surge. There is also some reverb and this voice is going to the first channel on Sifter. Sifter has four stereo channels we can use and mix different um, voices, different audio signals, right? So basically now it will sound like this. Right, nothing too complex. So let me zoom in a bit and I want to start with the intensity um, fader here. Now this is not a level control. It will eventually control also the level, but it's not a level control. It's not a volume control, but it will control according to the manual how often this channel, right, the first channel will be sampled, will be recorded into the buffer, if you will. And as a side effect, it will also control the volume. So if I do this, Right, so it will also eventually control the volume, but basically it will control um, the sampling rate of this channel. Now, if you want volume control and also panning control and stuff like this, there is also the expander. If I right click, I can add the expander. And now we have here a few different options again um, for each of the channels. We have here, first of all, the level control, right, for each of the channels, so I can Right, control the volume. Of course, everything has also a CV input, as you can see in attenuators. There is also a master level control for controlling the level of uh, everything together. There is also a panning control. Right, and there is also width control, which is also quite interesting. So this will spread things in the stereo field. If I take it all the way left, everything is in the middle. Let me take the reverb down for now, just for this demonstration. Right, if I take it all the way right, if you are with headphones, you can definitely hear this. It will spread things in the stereo field. Right, so now we have some control over the different parameters like level and panning and stuff like this, and we can start getting granular. So as you can see here, we have the freeze control which will basically freeze the buffer. So as long as this is off, it will always sample or always, uh, or always sort of record to the buffer. And I can also freeze the buffer and then control things in a granular way. So let me enter a few notes. Right, and freeze the buffer. Right, now I'm not playing anymore. You see, I disconnect this from the mixer, from sifter. Now this is just the buffer playing back. Right, and now here down we have a few different controls. Granular controls, I will zoom in even further. Right, we have the grain size or the grain length. We have the grain overlap, how many grains are playing at the same time. We have the playback speed, which will not change the pitch. So this will change just the playback speed. And we have the starting point and the buffer length, which is probably my favorite um, feature here because you can get really interesting textures and all sorts of different voices and stuff like this, right? So first of all, the grain length. Right, and the overlap. So now we have just one grain. Right, if I bring this to the maximum and I start changing the playback speed, take it down. Listen to this, maybe even more reverb. Right, this can go also the other way. Right, 
Right, and now I can change the length of the buffer and the starting point, so how long the buffer will be, and also the, where it will start. Right? And now I can cancel it with the buffer start. Right, and like this, create really interesting, interesting textures, interesting sounds. Interesting rhythms. Listen to this. Right, and again, I'm not playing anything, everything here, the buffer is frozen. And this is again just one voice, don't forget this is also a mixer. So let's really have a look now at Sifter as a granular mixer. So here I have a few voices that I mix with Sifter and then we can see how we can manipulate the sound. So the first voice here, I have the modern VCO from um, Surge with some movement with the quad LFO and this is being sequenced by Grid. This is also from Path Set. Um, and there's also a video about Grid if you're interested. A lovely sequencer. Right, so this will sound, this, is, this goes to the first um, channel of Sifter, it will sound like this. Lots of uh, detuning, as you can hear. Right, the second voice is coming from the FM operator, uh, basically chords with the note sec from JW. And I have another voice, this is an arpeggio, arpeggiating the chords from the note sequencer and this is again a simple voice with a sign VCO and again everything is mixed with sifter as you can see right and now I can start process the sound I don't even have to freeze um, the buffer because again it will always sample and again according to the intensity controls you can choose how much it will be sampled or how, uh, how often Right, and now we can start changing the different parameters and this will change and process the sound. So for example, the grain length and overlap. Right, the buffer length and starting point. And it will continually record, right, let's say that I want the ARP a bit more. Right, we have also the clock input that we can use to reset everything so it will start playing back from the beginning and like this basically sync things to the clock. So if I use for example the first clock I have here. Right, we can get really interesting rhythms and textures. Right, and like this, process the sound. And create all sorts of different floating points type of uh, textures. I have also drums, I have uh, the, some of the VCV drum modules sequenced by the gate sequencer from Impromptu. Right, just sound like this. Right, and I'm also sending a copy of them, mixing them again with another sifter. In this case, I have Brains for the Geodesics, which is a sample and hold module. 
Um, modulating all sorts of things, also randomly freezing the buffer. This uh, goes also to a high pass filter, so there is also movement in the high pass filter. And this adds this glitchy, stuttery type of effect. Right, maybe it's a bit too loud, I'll take it down a bit. Right, so you can also glitch out drums like this. Another interesting feature on Sifter is a delay. We can have also an internal delay with feedback and also delay time and create again interesting textures, granulize them in all sorts of ways and so on. So here I have a voice, I have a mixing basically the FM operator, this is one layer, and the window VCO from Surge, this is the second layer, right? I'm mixing them with Sifter, it will sound like this. Right, and now you can see I have nothing connected here in the fourth channel, which is then be, it will then be internally routed to the delay. Um, right, so if I bring in the intensity and bring uh, up the level also a bit, this will raise the feedback of channel four, right? Listen to this. Right, there is a delay or echoes, if you will. And I can change the delay time with this control here, right? Maybe a bit more feedback. And again, this will go through all of the processing, so the panning and um, all of the granular stuff. Right, so again, you can add even more variation to the sound with the internal delay. I'm going to play with this a bit. I have here a drone, um, once with a sign VCO as a bass, and also a few different uh, random notes here. Right, so this was Sifter again, a granular mixer with lots of different options um, for creating textures and processing sound. Again, this is a part of the commercial collection from Pathset called Grains. Um, go check it out. Thank you for watching. Cheers.